Hey, hey, Coach Stoops. This is Tennessee Athletic Director John Curry. How are you doing today? Yeah, hey, look here. I was wondering if you... Hello? 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 Hey, John Gruden. How you doing, Coach? Hey, yeah, this is John Curry, Athletic Director at Tennessee. Boy, what a game you called last night, Monday Night Football, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the field goal right at the end. Hey, look here. I was wondering if you'd want to come down and talk... Hello? 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 Hey, hey, Coach Kelly. This is John Curry, Tennessee Athletic Director. How are you? Good. Yeah, I'm doing good, too. Oh, listen, I was calling to see if you were bored yet. Hello? Hello? Hey, Coach Cooter! Jim Bob, can I call you Jim Bob? Hey, look here, this is Tennessee Athletic Director John Curry. I was what? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Hello? Hello? <coughs> Hello? Yeah, hey, Derek? Yeah. Hey, 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 listen, this is Tennessee Athletic Director John Curry. Coach Dooley, Derek Dooley, please come back to Tennessee. That we, Nobody will take the job. Please come back. Hello? Hello? Coach Dooley, come back! Uh, yep, that's right. It's me, Uncle Lou, live for you on YouTube today. Uh, yep, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, too. Uh, let's talk about this week's SEC uh, matchups today. I'll do a video tomorrow on uh, the games not in the SEC. We'll, we'll break it up that way um, this week. We'll do SEC today, non-SEC tomorrow. How's that sound uh, for you people out there? That sounds good to me. Uh, yep, has to. Uh, a couple of good games this week. I talked a little bit about the UGA Vandy game uh, yesterday, and I'll talk some more about that game at the end. But let's get to the other games first, since I, since I did talk a little bit about UGA Vandy yesterday. Uh, LSU at Florida. Wow, what an exciting game this is going to be, huh? Uh, <laughs> LSU, man. Now, I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of LSU, even in the preseason. You can go back and watch my Corn Dog preview uh, or my SEC West preview that I did. I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of the Corn Dogs this year, but I did not see them being this bad. Um, the loss to, to Mississippi State, I mean, maybe that's not uh, an embarrassing loss or whatever. I mean, it was on the road at Mississippi State, plenty of cowbell. Uh, there in Stark Vegas, but who saw them losing to Troy? Seriously, uh, I mean that's a bad, bad loss there on home, you know on homecoming for the Corn Dogs. They got to turn around this week, travel to Florida to Swamp down there. This game got flip flop. Supposed to be at LSU this year, uh, but Florida, uh, you know, backpedaled out of that game last year, got it moved, uh, so now it's in Florida this year. That's neither here nor there for the purposes of this conversation, though. But what a boring game this will be, huh? Florida fans. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder, are y'all watching football this year, Florida fans? Because y'all are getting loud. Why? Uh, you know, you quieted down a little bit, uh, you know, after you got drubbed and skull dragged by Michigan week one. But since then, you've just gotten really loud with, uh, you know, a couple of meaningless victories over who? Kentucky? Uh, who else? Vandy? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you haven't looked good. I, I don't understand Florida fans. I mean, they're, they, you know, they're talking about winning the East. I mean, that's not happening. You're just not that good of a team this year. Your offense is as bad or worse than last year, and your defense not nearly as good. Um... I mean, that's just obvious to anybody who's watched you guys play. I said that in the offseason. I didn't believe in the offense. I, and and I, I said, I don't think the defense will be as good. I think, you know, the defense will still be good. It won't be great. They just lost too many of Muschamp's players and too much talent 
to the NFL, and it's dropped off. Your defense has. I don't understand really why Florida fans are so excited about what they've seen. I also told you in the preseason Del Rio would be your starter. You laughed at Uncle Lou, told me he was never going to play again. It was all Felipe Franks with a little Malik Zaire mixed in. Well, guess what? Here we go again uh, with the Del Rio show uh, live in the swamp against a terrible corn dog team. If Florida is so good, Florida fan, you can and answer me this. And I'll, I'll get Natty back Steve on here one day this week if I need to. Y'all let me know, and, and we can get his take on this. If Florida's so good, and everyone knows LSU is bad, why is Florida only a three-point favorite at home uh, against corn dogs? I mean, you get two or three points just for being at home. So that tells me... That, that, that people that are smarter than me and smarter than you too think y'all are, are are about the same. Anyway, keep yapping. But what a boring game this will be. I can't see Florida losing though. Does LSU have they given up on Orgeron like Tennessee's given up on Lyle? It looks that way. Uh, I'll say Florida wins this game, but I wouldn't be surprised if they lost it. But I'm gonna go with Florida. I'll say 12 to five. Florida wins in the most exciting college football game you've ever seen. Uh, Florida 12, Corn Dogs 5. Arkansas at South Carolina. Uh, another winner here. Uh, two teams that nobody cares about. Um, half the Carolina fans, you know, they're already, you know, they're just waiting on the offseason uh, so they can talk about winning the East again. Arkansas fans, I don't know what they're doing. Uh, Brett Bielema. Another thing that I harped on in the offseason, uh, I mean, I was wrong on a lot of things in the offseason, predictions and, and things that I thought would happen this year, but there was quite a few things I was right on. And here we go again. Uh, Arkansas is, uh, what are, two and two. And, and what did I say? Arkansas, it seems like they go 500 every year. Every once in a while to win seven or eight games. Burt Bielema comes back again. Big Ten Burt comes back again. Uh, Arkansas fans are happy as hell to make a bowl game. Uh, I don't get it. Uh, he does have a huge buyout, though. I, I, I was told, talked about that before, somewhere in the 10 to $15 million range. So, I don't know. You're stuck with that guy? I don't know. Where's this game at? At South Carolina. I, I'm just not a believer in either one of these teams or either one of these coaches. Must champ, proven loser. Boom, chicken's not any good. Uh, when, when, when Samuel went down, your season was over. I told you that. You argued with me. Uh, well, Uncle Lou was right about that, too. Uh, Arkansas is favored in this game by two and a half. At South Carolina. I, you know, I thought South Carolina had a pretty good home field advantage that they came out and laid an egg against Kentucky, though, didn't they? So, I don't know. This game could go either way. I'm going to go with the underdog in this one, though, and say South Carolina finds a way to win. I, uh, I think they have an advantage at quarterback position over Arkansas. Maybe they make one more play than Arkansas. And, and you know, I'm going to say Carolina wins this game 27-24. But another, uh, another boring game of also-rans there. Uh, what else? Missouri at Kentucky. Here's one I was wrong on, wasn't I? I said Kentucky's going to score a ton of points. The defense is terrible, but they're going to score a ton of points. Well, I was right about their defense. Their defense is terrible. What happened to their offense? They scored 190 points in week one, their only win of the season against a nobody. And then they've just got murdered against every other team they've played, South Carolina, Purdue. Who else beat them? Did I write it down? No, I forget. Now, they're one in three. Was it Auburn? Might have been the, might have been the Barners. Anyway, they've only scored 30 points total in their last three games. So, ah, what a disaster. they got to get rid of that coach, yeah? No one ever talks about him, though. They always talk about Sumlin or Butch Jones or, hell, even Malzahn, Burt Bielema. But they don't ever talk about, you don't need, you never hear anybody talk about, was it Odom, the coach of Missouri? Of course, you never hear anybody talk about Missouri at all. You know, one of the reasons why. But they got to do something there. They're just awful. I mean, they are... They're probably the worst SEC team I've seen in a decade. Um, I know Kentucky had some pretty pretty bad teams. Uh, Auburn had a pretty bad. Well, they went three games not that long ago. But th th this is a bad, bad team here, Missouri. 
Um, I can't see them losing to Kentucky. Kentucky will win this game somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 35 to 13, something like that. I don't think this will be a close one uh, at all. Ole Miss at Auburn. Ole Miss doesn't care. They have no reason to be playing. They're All they are is they're fillers at this point. They're just schedule fillers. That's it. You know, each side of the SEC, the East and the West, each have, you know, seven teams in it. So you have to play them all. Uh, that, that's the only, you know, that's the only reason Ole Miss is playing this year. They've got nothing to play for. They're terrible. They're coaching. The coaching is just horrible. No one wants that job, so they're stuck with these people that don't the hell they're doing. Um, it's just embarrassing to watch. Ole Miss versus Missouri would be a hell of a game, wouldn't it? Wow. Missouri 2-2. Two and two. I mean, uh, Ole Miss 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Auburn coming off uh, uh, just demolishing uh, Mississippi State um, after Georgia sucked all the life out of them. Hell, anybody could have beat Mississippi State last week, 100 to nothing. Really, I'm not. That doesn't impress me that Auburn did that. Nick Fitzgerald, dude at CTE just from the Georgia game. Anybody could have beat them. Anyway, Auburn will win this game huge. Won't be close. Tennessee and Mississippi State off this week. Two teams that really need an off week. Tennessee. Stuck with Lyle. Uh, yeah. Oh, Tennessee. Uh, every, Tennessee wants Bob Stoops. So, I mean, I see it all the time. I mean, of course, they want everybody. Bob Stoops, Chip Kelly, John Gruden. I've been through the list over and over. But there's a lot of pictures floating around Facebook where they've got you know, Bob Stoops' face superimposed on, on Butch Jones' body, you know, so he's got the Tennessee shirt on and he's standing on the Tennessee sideline and all that, and it's Bob Stoops' face. They thought they were getting that guy. Guess where Bob Stoops was yesterday? Big game Bob. Guess where he was yesterday? Athens, Georgia. <laughs> yeah, big game Bob stopped by UGA practice yesterday <laughs> to laugh at Tennessee. Uh, but, yeah, y'all are off this week. Player quit the team yesterday, Tennessee. I, I think it was a nobody, but still. Team falling apart. One break at a time. Anyway, yeah, Tennessee and Mississippi State both needed that off week bad. So, uh, what's left here? The only two teams that matter in the SEC, the Bama game and the Georgia game. Alabama at Texas A&M. Uh, yeah, Texas A&M is what three and one, four and one, whatever they are. They had their off week yet? Uh, no, they're four and one. So, eh, they lost to UCLA. They probably should be five and zero, oh, shouldn't they? What were they up on UCLA like thirty something points in the fourth quarter? Found a way to lose. Kevin Sumlin was getting death threats and racist letters sent to him. He reeled off four wins in a row. What did they do? Beat South Carolina by a touchdown. And the week before that, they won by a touchdown, too. They played that week. Oh, Burt Bielema, Arkansas. Yeah, so you beat Arkansas, South Carolina by a touchdown. You're riding high. My Alabama coming into town now. I mean, yeah, Alabama, you know, not as good as they've been in years past. Pretty average. <laughs> But, uh, you know, they got enough to beat Texas A&M. I don't think Alabama beats them like they've won the last two weeks, you know, against Vandy and Ole Miss, basically beating them a combined 100 and something to three or whatever it was. I, You know, I don't, I don't think it'll be that bad. I think Texas A&M might score a touchdown or two, but the game won't be close. I mean, when you start talking about Alabama and Georgia, Georgia plays Vandy, Alabama plays A&M, Picking the winner of the game is pointless. You you really just trying to wonder if they're going to cover the spread or not. So Alabama's favored by what twenty six and a half. Would they cover that against A and M? It's possible four touchdowns would cover that at twenty eight. You know I could definitely see Alabama winning something like forty five to fourteen. Uh, you know something like that. So they probably got a pretty good chance to cover that. Georgia plays Vandy. Georgia favored by uh, what's Georgia favored by seventeen and a half. That's a bad gambling number there. Those hooks will get you every time. But I could see Georgia winning this touchdown, this game by three touchdowns plus. Georgia's covered every game they've played this year. 
Uh, I'd have to check on Alabama. I'm sure they covered the last two, winning, winning by 50 points a game or whatever. I'm not sure about their first three games. But Georgia's covered all five games this year. Covered against App State. Uh, we were actually an underdog at Notre Dame and won the game outright, outright so covered there. Covered against Samford. Definitely covered against Mississippi State. We were, we were like a four or five point favorite against Mississippi State. Oh, we went 31 to three or something like that. So yeah, Tennessee. What were you we, seven point favorite in that game? I don't remember. A touchdown or so. What we what what we win by? Oh yeah, 41 to nothing. <laughs> so Georgia covered every time. I think Georgia covers again against uh, Vandy. You know, the only thing I really want to you know what I want to see in the Georgia game this year. People keep leaving Jake Frome and and Jacob Eason comments down below. I don't. I've been trying to avoid making a video on it. Uh, I want no matter no matter what I say in the video, it's gonna piss half the fan base off. Um, now here here's what I'll say though. If we're gonna go with From, which it looks like that might be the plan, I want to see Jake From throw the ball. Yeah, I know when you're beating teams 25 and 30 to nothing in the third and fourth quarter, you don't have to throw the ball. You can just ground and pound. And you know, if you look at the last two games. Frome had 12 pass attempts against Mississippi State, 15 pass attempts against Tennessee. He was 9 of 12 against Mississippi State. That's great. Against Tennessee, 7 of 15 for 80 yards. So, not good. Jake Frome played a terrible game. I uh, argued with people about this all day yesterday on Facebook, but if, if, if you don't have the ability to look at Georgia's game against Tennessee and say this, Jake Frome played bad, then you're either blind or willfully stupid. One of the two. Um, he just played bad. I want to see Jake Frome throw the ball 30, 40 times. I don't care what the score is. I don't care how, how much we're winning by. If we're going to go with Frome, I want to see him sling the ball around. Um, and I have my reasons for that. And if anybody watching this has any sense at all, you can figure that reason out. Okay? Yeah, you can beat Tennessee and Vandy and Mississippi State and App State throwing the ball 12 or 13 times a game for 130 yards, which is what Frome is averaging a game, about 130. He's on pace for 1,600 yards this year. That We're good enough on defense and running the ball to beat those teams doing that. But I want you to think down the road some to some other teams that are coming up two in particular, and one that we will be playing in the first week of December. And ask yourself, if you think Georgia beats those teams, throwing the ball 15 times. I would say that it's possible we could beat two of those teams I'm referring to doing that. Possible. One of the teams I'm referring to it would be impossible, not happening, for a variety of, this video is getting way too, I could have done a whole video on this and I'm trying, I don't want to, damn it, I got irritated now just thinking about it, I'm going to end the, I, I, I might do a whole video on that, I'm, I, I'm so friggin'